Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Christina. If you are new to Passion Planner or an existing member of the Pash fam, this is a little reminder they have a ton of free printables on their website. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my current favorites. Now I've made a video, I think it was back in 2019, I shared with you guys at the time my favorite inserts. They were my go-tos, I use them all the time. But since then, Passion Planner has added so many inserts, worksheets, coloring pages to their website. So we kind of have a lot to get through. Let's start with Passion Planner's 30-day journal entry. Have you ever wanted to get into journaling but maybe didn't know what to write? I know I have that problem, which is why I love journal prompts, which is precisely what Passion Planner's 30-day journal challenge is. Before I get into it, I want to mention that Passion Planner only offers to print this download in a large size. Still, if you have a small or medium planner, you can easily cut each question individually and tape them in your journal like what I'm doing now. But you can also reference Passion Planner's website and write out the journal prompts with a pencil or a pen. In terms of the questions, the first day sets an intention, followed by four chapters with themes like gratitude, self-love, healing, and transformation. Each chapter is seven days long and the journal prompts are very detailed and different enough not to feel like you're writing the same thing every day. Here are some examples. On day three, the question is, write about the last memory that made you happy. What does it feel like in your body? Day 10, name something you often expect to receive from others. In what ways can you give it to yourself? Day 24 is my favorite journal prompt. How do you connect to your intuition? How does it speak to you? I like that one because it's all about trusting yourself. The next Passion Planner download is spring cleaning. Now, I love a clean home. I can't function when the apartment is messy, but just because I like a clean home doesn't mean David and I don't accumulate a bunch of junk we don't really use. I see this mostly when we're moving. I find myself thinking, why do I have this? Or this is junk, let's just throw it away or donate it. So Passion Planner's Spring Cleaning Guide is based on Marie Kondo's The KonMari Method. She made a significant impression on American television because she coined the phrase, does this spark joy? So the list Passion Planner has provided isn't just a cleaning list, it's particular items I usually wouldn't think of going through on my own, like paperwork, manuals, bills, undergarments, costumes. I mean, the list goes on. It's very helpful. You can print the insert to fit a small and large planner. This next one is a book tracker. I had to include this one because I'm an avid reader and this is perfect if you're looking for something simple yet functional. There are 25 slots to include the date you started reading the book, the title, author, and a 5 star rating system. When I was on the website, I didn't realize that there are two versions of a book tracker. So I'm taping in version one in my journal, and the second one is this adorable full-size drawing of a bookshelf. There's a cat, plants, a picture frame, even Heart 2 makes an appearance. There are 35 books, so you can fill in the titles of the book you've read on the binds of the book or color them in for fun. You can print both versions in all three sizes, small, medium, and large. On Passion Planner's website, they call this next insert a yearly overview, which kind of reminds me of a future log. I've said this before in many of my bullet journaling videos, mainly because I forgot to create a future log, 
But having a future log is beneficial, especially if you're using a bullet journal or a daily planner, because how would you track future plans? You can't go three months from now and write down dinner plans. After all, the month is not set up in your planner. If you're using a traditional academic or annual calendar, then you have no problems. <laughs> there are two versions. The one in this video is version one, which is a six month spread across two pages. And version two is a 12 month spread spread across two pages. You don't have as much room to write as you do in version one. And that just depends on what you plan on using this for. I wanted to include this insert because it's customizable. You can use it however you'd like. There is no right or wrong way. It can be a yearly overview, a monthly layout, or a mood tracker. Speaking of mood trackers, Passion Planner offers a year in pixel insert. If you don't know what that looks like, it's a grid box with the months lined up horizontally at the top and the days running vertically on the left hand side. In addition, there's space for a key for what kind of moods you want to track. This is perfect. You don't have to draw the lines yourself. You can print it off Passion Planner's website in all three sizes, small, medium, and large. I find it therapeutic to track my moods. It helps me be aware of how I'm feeling that day and how I'm reacting to a situation and simultaneously have compassion for myself. Sometimes we get so lost in what we're doing that we aren't thinking, we're just reacting. So knowing that at night I have to be honest with myself and fill in my year and pixel page with how I felt that day, I want to make sure even if something upsets me, it's how I handled the situation. I didn't let that lousy situation ruin my day. coloring pages. This one is so fun to whip out if you have kids or nieces and nephews. Kids love coloring and I still do too. <laughs> it's just so relaxing and peaceful. Passion Planner offers three coloring sheets. I wish they offered more, but they do have a compass coloring sheet, birds and bees, and mandala. There are two versions of each coloring sheet, one with black lines and version two has gray lines. You can tape these in the covers of your passion planner, cut them to pieces, and tape them in your monthly layout. It's super fun for all ages. Aside from the ones I've mentioned, there are a ton of other inserts. We've, there's a calorie tracker, a workout tracker, a self-care worksheet, an activism worksheet. There's a BIPOC quotes page, and I also can't forget the PDFs. So head to passionplanner.com and don't forget to use my code Christina10. The inserts, the worksheets, the coloring pages, they're all free. Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.